Thank you for tuning in to the Mad Rapper Show. I'm your host, the Mad Rapper. And because you ignorant sons of bitches keep writing me, wanting me to tell you stuff about relationships, even though, even though it's blatant that I have no clue about what I'm talking about, because you don't see no bitches. You know what I'm saying? It'd be different if you've seen different bitches in my videos, but you don't see no bitches. I'm lonely just like you, nigga. I'm sitting here just like you looking, looking at a camera. You looking at the computer screen, I'm looking at the camera wondering, wishing, looking at fallen stars, wishing. So, I mean, we in the same boat, nigga. So it's blindly to blind. I mean, I can optimistically talk a lot of shit about this because it's in my heart to talk a lot of shit about everything. So let's get right into it. Today's video is all about thirst and why it killed chivalry. And if you don't know what chivalry is, nigga, I didn't look up the definition, but I'm pretty sure chivalry comes from like some old medieval shit, like a knight, you know, grabbing the princess's hand. Say, me lady, uh, step over that puddle. I raise you up, my lady. Some, some stupid shit like that. Basically, 2017, chivalry is fucking, fucking just simping, nigga. It's just being extra nice to bitches. So... You guys are writing me saying, we love the last video you made about the relationship shit. Tell us more. Uh, one guy wrote some gay shit, and I'm sorry. I, I know I'm going in and, and making fun of you a little bit. I ain't going to say your name. But he wrote some gay shit. He was like, he been wanting to talk to this girl for a long time. He's like, he liked this girl, right? And he be hitting up in the DMs, and she be ignoring him. And, uh... Like, he really like her. And I'm just like, dude, why the, f the first off, thirst. All right, so here's here's some scenarios for you guys to think about. I was talking to, I was talking to one of my aces today about this as well. So it sort of fits with this video. I'll throw in some logic. Imagine if you're just a mediocre dude. You know, you, you don't necessarily have to be overweight. But I mean, if you're just a fat fuck or you're just a mediocre skinny nigga, you just whack, you're ugly, it don't matter. It don't fucking matter. Imagine, regardless of the way you looked, you had like top-notch, beautiful bitches hitting you up. Imagine the psychological shit that was going on in your head if every day, every fucking post, every fucking picture you took, you just had dimes in your inbox, in your DMs, just macking, telling you how hot you are, telling you how, you know, uh, say you look so good. Oh, can I get with you? Let's go out. Blah blah blah. Imagine how psychologically that would affect you to where you would not be able to tell the wholesome people from the fake people. Like, let's say these girls, let's say these girls just want to fuck, right? And they're beautiful bitches, and you got okay bitches hitting you up too, and they might say the same thing. It is diluted. Like, even if you didn't want to be like, after a while, you'd be like, look, I, I'm, I just fuck fine bitches. And I get attached to these fine bitches that jock me. And then they just leave me. They fuck me and they leave me. They leave me. It's saddening. This next person, I'm not going to fuck. I want to find somebody that really likes me. I'm going to find somebody that really wants to be with me. And I'm going to be with that person. And I'm not going to let them fuck me and leave. Imagine if this was happening to you guys. Imagine if you had that mindset now because... You, all these bad bitches like you and they fuck you and then they don't talk to you no more. So after a while, even you would be like, yo, this is fucked up. I really like that bitch. So imagine this is happening over and over again and you got mediocre girls trying to holler, you know, but they saying the same thing that everybody, everybody's saying the same thing. And this is the mindset you have to get into to think about what is happening with these women. You know, thirst is, is very prevalent with the social media, dude. On every fucking platform, thirst is heavy. I am a motherfucking connoisseur of thirst. You know, I'll go to some girl's page and look at her pictures and just see countless, countless thirst pockets, nigga. The same niggas. I, I've seen some shit that just made me want to fucking puke, nigga. I've seen pictures where... Niggas be all on the girl's pick with a bitch and they pick. They they complimenting the fuck you look so beautiful, baby girl. 
Oh, I drink your bath water. Oh, you you smelling so good. It's like, what the fuck, nigga? And you cuddled up with your wife, nigga. He in the picture, smiling with his fucking wife. Nigga, that's thirst. And these same niggas just regurgitate the same shit over and over again. So even if you a wholesome person, and you hit this person up and say, yo, you're mighty beautiful. You look nice today. They've heard that 3,000 times, nigga. So it doesn't mean it doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter anymore. So so as long as you guys continue to try to talk to these women and you don't put it in your head on what's really happening, the thirst is real. And we created the thirst. Like I, I see it. Usually, like if you followed when I post on on, on females. Uh, shit on Facebook or on Instagram. I'm trolling. Like, if I say some shit on a post where you got 15, 16 motherfuckers or hundreds saying shit, dude, I'm trolling. I, why would I say uh, you beautiful? Like, sometimes I like to go on and I'll just co-sign a nigga. You know, like I seen this one the other day where this chick had posted a picture and then uh, this dude was like, um, she said something about finding new friends or some shit. And this guy was like, hey, yeah, you, you should hang out with me. I'll be your friend. And I just posted under his shit and was like, shit, I agree with him. I, that nigga's fucking right. You should hang out with him. Because it's just thirst. So what is going on in these women's minds when they have this abundant amount of thirst? And, and basically, like a, like a female told me one time when I uh, we was all chilling and I, I told her, I was like, this girl over here, I'm thinking about hollering at this girl. What do you think? And, and the first thing she said was like, yeah, you could probably get with her. But she got a lot of options, though. And I, uh, options? And she started telling me, like, these, you know, a whole bunch of niggas be trying to holler. And I'm like, whoa, though, I mean, don't this girl realize that most of those dudes just want to hit? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And then, and that. Okay, so we already talked about the um, facade of a female that has been used and abused by thirst. You know, like now thirst is wearing off. She just, if she's still flaunting her shit, she ain't really giving nobody a time of day. Even the nice dudes are getting like backburnered. It don't matter. We got that out the way. But what about when a girl is just straight said fuck it and, and won't dick you know what about that what about when there's hella thirst and this bitch don't care that these motherfuckers is trifling see and then a lot of times you guys you fucking macking on these bitches too and you don't realize in your head you thinking oh this girl's smart you know she's cool she's smart the thirst is heavy but she's smart she knows that these fools just won't blah 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 but a lot of times, motherfuckers don't care. And and I might hurt some people's feelings with this video because I'm going to get real. Um, I've seen some fucking fuckery online where it ain't even a mediocre bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's I've seen pictures, p pictures take pictures. And I look at it like, ugh, why did she? Because you know she took a lot of pictures. And that was the best one. I'm just like, oh, you look ugly. Oh, my God. And I still see hella thirst. Niggas do not give a fuck. I, I was watching a live stream on Instagram the other night. I wasn't watching it. It popped up on my shit. And I said, hmm, I seen a big ass on my shit. So I pushed the button. And I seen this girl. And, and I, I might sound misogynistic. Is that how you say misogynistic? I might sound like a misogynist pig, um, but this girl was not that cool. Like, yeah, she was um, shaking her ass for the camera. She had like panties on, but I was looking at like, dude, maybe the normality of this chick, maybe because we were so convoluted with like perfection. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the normality of this chick made her seem more accessible to people. And that's why so many dudes was going crazy. I mean, 
slobbering from the mouth, nigga. Just oh, 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 craziness. And I'm in this live feed watching it like this girl, you know, and like I'm not clowning because I like I like thickness. I'm not clowning, but this girl was sort of, it was just like watching a, a regular chick, this fat, you know, change her clothes or something. It, was, it wasn't nothing that cool about seeing this shit. And I'm just keeping it 100. And anybody that knows me knows that I like big chicks anyway. I like thickness. So it's not like I'm making fun of her because a fat dumb ass was doing it. But I was just like, dude, these motherfuckers do not care. So once we realize that half of these dudes, half of, I'm, I'm even taking it a step farther. It'd be some fat bitches to be head over heels for skinny niggas. You know what I'm saying? Getting ran through by skinny niggas. And these skinny niggas be like, like, dude, I don't even understand it. This That whole thing is mind blowing. It's just like, why are these niggas preying on these fat bitches? Maybe because they got low self esteem. Maybe these ugly fat bitches and ugly bitches got low self esteem makes it easier and maybe our fault maybe it's our problem that we care <laughs> like so so what i've done in my life is not really care you know and, and a lot of people may say did you give up it's not so much as giving up but it's you know realizing what is happening in the world and saying, I'm done. Falling into that, that rut of everybody else. You know? So, my advice to you guys, if y'all have relationship problems, my first advice would be, uh, you probably want to talk to people that got good relationships. You don't want to ask somebody who's in the same boat as you with pent-up aggression you know, you don't want to ask me because I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth, but I'm also tell you the truth with anger. So, I mean, regardless, don't fall for the temptations of the thirst. Uh, thirst is bad, but we can't do anything about thirst because it's prevalent. It's so prevalent in our society. You know, um, psychologically, the people that post pictures and post statuses and, and, and they feed off of likes. So when you have a woman that could be mediocre and she's posting pictures and getting three four hundred likes and, and comments about how beautiful she is even though like she's not um it, it psychologically becomes a problem and within her mind I, I don't know whether she sort of believes like like even with the chick the, the live cam checks I, I see a lot of times and I just sort of feel bad because a lot of stuff they say is just like, damn, really? Like uh, I seen the same one I was talking about earlier with the fucking the fat uh, whack bitch. She was she was OK. I mean, she was normal. She wasn't special, but um, she was reading the comments like after she had a twerk session. She looked at the phone and was reading the comments and she was like, y'all's comments really make my day. And I, I just sort of thought about that. I let it marinate in my head. Like, really? These these thirsty ass niggas comments made your day? Seriously? Like, don't you realize that these niggas, like, it'd be different if it's like hella Prince Charmings and shit. You know, it'd be different if like you got an assortment of dudes that want to be with you and treat you right. But if you know that basically these are wolves you know, that basically just want to fuck. Day comments made your day. It just, it was, it was hurtful. It just made me sad. I was just like, damn, that's so fucked up. You know, uh, what should have made your day was waking up. Maybe, maybe looking in the mirror yourself, telling yourself you beautiful. You know, that, that, that should have made your day. So whether you agree with me or not, Comment below and let me know. I'm the Mad Rapper, and I'm out. I'm the Mad Rapper, I speak the truth, I let it flow. If you got an opinion, comment below and let me know. If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show.